This is how apples should look, simply perfect. But in the real world, fruit losses due to insect pests are a big problem for apple growers worldwide. To market even only slightly damaged produce is nearly impossible, with often small profit margins that soon results in severe financial problems. One of the main causes of damaged or rotting apples is Cydia pominella, the codling moth. The damage is caused by the larvae. The females lay their eggs on the leaves or directly onto the apples. Here is a larva hatching out of an egg. It frees its way out of the integument of the egg with its powerful mandibles. It immediately starts looking for a good place to begin its attack on the apple. This creature measures only about a millimeter, which is hardly visible to the naked eye. Only thanks to sophisticated enlargement technology can we see how this tiny grub causes great damage. Now it's found a suitable place, the mandibles get to work again. The larva gnaws its way through the skin of the apple, and here comes the competition. Another codling moth grub wants to save itself the trouble. And it succeeds. The owner of the hole in the apple withdraws. The winner buries itself entirely in the apple and hides the entry point with dugout plant material and frass. It will spend the next three to four weeks here growing and developing. Let me show you these apples to illustrate the point. Here we see codling moth infestation. You can clearly see the entry hole with the borings coming out. Here again the same thing. And here we've cut the apple open, the tunnel it dug right into the core. And here are the larvae in stage L3 to L5 almost in the core. The consequence of this infestation is that some of the apples rot and the rot also attacks the neighboring apples. This is how the damage looks in the orchards. Here the damage is obvious. Apples started rotting on the trees. They infected their neighbors and they ended up as windfall. Harvest losses of top fruits due to codling moths have increased frighteningly in the last few years for many different reasons. Climate change favors the warmth loving insects. Ten years ago, top fruit growers in colder climates had never even heard of the codling moth. Nowadays, they have considerable fruit damage due to the pest. In more temperate regions of the world, the number of generations has increased from one to two, or even up to three per year. On the other hand, the control of codling moths becomes more difficult. Most of the insecticides currently used now are acting on the nervous system. Some others are working on uh, Ketin synthesis, inhibiting ketin synthesis, uh, especially products working on uh, caterpillars. The constant use of insecticides with the same mode of action has already resulted in pest resistance. That means use rates have to be increased or products do not work anymore at all. Broad spectrum insecticides tend to also damage beneficial insects and mites. Like the ladybird. or the hoverfly. As a result, secondary pests like aphids or scales can suddenly become a completely new problem. Most modern insecticides destroy the grubs while leaving beneficials unharmed. However, there are still losses due to less efficacy or delayed feeding cessation, so larvae start gnawing into the fruit before dying. This might only lead to minor harm like tiny little spots or holes in the fruit. But for the top fruit farmers, even a little damage reduces their income considerably because these fruits are unsaleable. Consumers in the industrial countries don't buy damaged apples. What they want is a perfect apple.